So studying the profile, either from the patient directly or from a photograph, will enable you to assess the facial convexity, really what happens between the relationship of the forehead, the mid face, and the lower part of the face. So the best thing first is to study how to do a profile analysis and then we'll be more able to assess its importance in orthodontics. So in the CD, we introduce a very simple profile determination. The first thing you want to do is get the horizontal reference line and we use for that Orbitale and we use Frankfurt horizontal, the same as in determination for the people with dentures. It's basically a true horizontal uh, line that bisects the face of the patient. Then we need a reference line in the vertical plane. So then we'll use Glabella. And from Glabella, we draw a vertical line, which obviously bisects the horizontal line at 90 degrees. So now you have some, some kind of a reference system. Then you want to see what happens to the maxilla and its projection in relation to those two lines. So we use subnasale, which is not lip, is not the end of the lip. It refers to the almost anterior nasal spine in the, uh, sorry, in the uh, cephalometric analysis. And you use the subnasale to understand, to look at maxilla projection. For the mandible, we are going to use, we call it pogonion soft in relation again to pogonion from the cephal cephalometric analysis, sorry. And it's the most anterior point of the, of the soft tissue chin. So what we have now, we have two lines and three points. And by drawing the line, the angle and looking at its, this triangle right here, you can have a fairly good idea of the convexity of the face in relation to a vertical line that passes through Gabella. So now if Sabnizale is way forward, the, the, the profile will be called convex and the etiology will be a prognathic maxilla if pogonion is located behind this line you also have a convex profile but this time it's caused by the mandibular retrusion so many things we can do with this fairly simple analysis that allows us to determine what is the profile of a patient is it either flat? Is it convex? Is it concave? And then you can also add the severity. Thank you.